Switzerland is the land of some of the most breathtaking sceneries, coastlines, towns, and villages. As you travel the country, you will come across many castles, both in good and ruined states. In fact, it is said that Ireland has somewhere around 30,000 castles. This is an astounding figure and it means that you don't need to travel much to find one. Something to note here is that these castles were never built to house royalty, as of the neighboring England and Europe, because the last time Ireland has had a king was almost a thousand years ago. Nonetheless, these castles were built to impress whoever looked at them. In this video, we will be showing you the top seven castles in Ireland that you can visit. So let's begin. Number seven, Bunratty Castle. Bunratty Castle is a medieval castle in the County Clare, Ireland. Historically, it was built by the powerful McNamara family in 1425. And by 1475, it was the stronghold of the largest clan in North Munster, called the O'Briens. Over the years, many plantation families took care of the castle's lands, and the Studdards were the last of them. They left the castle in 1804, leaving the castle to fall into despair. Lord Gort, the seventh Viscount Gort, bought the ruins and restored them to their current state. The castle sits on top of a hill overlooking Bunratty Town and is surrounded by lush green fields and rolling hills. Today, Bunratty Castle is one of the island's great tourist attractions. And not just because it offers visitors an opportunity to see Ireland at its most picturesque, but also some impressive features like luxurious rooms, 16th century style furnishings, and wonderful medieval banquets for the general public. You can book a ticket and be a part of one too. Number 6. Kilkenny Castle this fascinating castle, located in Kilkenny City, is one of Ireland's most famous castles. And rightly so, with its beautiful structure, boasting towers, and incredible history, Kilkenny Castle is one great stone structure. Built in the year 1192, the castle came under the ownership of the famous and wealthy butler family in 1385. The butlers ruled the surrounding area for centuries, and famously, Anne Boleyn's lineage is connected to them from her paternal side. The castle was badly damaged during the Irish Civil War in 1922, and with the passing of time, its state became even worse. But in the 20th century, the castle has seen enormous amounts of restoration activities that have helped maintain its structure. Today, it belongs to the people of Kilkenny and can be explored all year long. The castle is also a popular tourist destination, with visitors coming to see its impressive architecture, a fine collection of paintings, and preserved history all year long. Number 5. Kerr Castle. The Kerr Castle is one of Ireland's most preserved castles and is located on a rocky island on the River Shur. In addition to being an important historical site, Kerr Castle is also well known for its architecture. It was constructed by the O'Brien family during the 13th century, but the butlers became its owner in the 14th century, who extended and remodeled it later on. It has a number of architectural features that have been preserved from its original state, but have been restored partially in the 1840s to keep its historical spirit alive. When the last Lord Kerr died, the castle became a property of the Irish state. During the 20th century, this castle was given the status of National Monument and currently the Office of Public Works, which is an Irish government agency manages its public tours. It also has been seen in a couple of Hollywood productions and TV shows. Today, much of the castle's original structure remains, and the public can take part in an informative audiovisual show that tells the details of the castle's history. Number 4. Blarney Castle 
This castle is the stronghold in County Cork, and its construction dates back even before the year 1200. It's surrounded by beautiful woodlands, and it is believed that a timber house stood here in the start. No traces of that house remain today. It was around 1210 when a stone fortification replaced that timber house. The castle saw the destruction in 1446, in a reconstruction by Cormac Ladder McCarthy, Lord of Muscree. Currently, the Coolhurst family owns the estate. Interestingly, Blarney Castle is famous for a centuries-old tradition. Anyone who kisses barley stone, a carboniferous limestone built into the castle's battlements, will gain the gift of eloquence and persuasiveness. People flock to kiss the rock. All you have to do is lay on your back, hold the safety railings, and kiss the stone upside down. Number 3. Ross Castle Ross Castle is a 15th century castle located at the edge of Loch Lien in Killarney National Park, County Kerry. It was the ancestral home of the chefs of Clan O'Donoghue. Its foundation was once surrounded by a fortified barn with towers that defended its curtain walls. Two of the towers still stand today. The castle was also used as barracks in 1668. Today, the castle receives a large number of visitors who come here to explore and appreciate the wonderful 16th and 17th century oak furniture and structures of the castle and to hear some myths associated, including the one where it was believed only strange ships coming in from the lake would conquer it. It was said because it was considered impossible. However, the legend did come true when Cromwell's English forces did attack it from the lake in 1652. Number 2. Ashford Castle This Victorian and medieval castle was built in 1228 and has been expanded many times. It's located just north of Galway City, but Ashford Castle is more than just a great place to visit. It's also a place to learn about Irish history and culture. It has been said that if you go inside the castle walls, you will find yourself in another time and place, as though you've traveled back in time to ancient Ireland. The castle was the property of the famous Irish Guinness family. Sir Benjamin Lee Guinness bought the estate in 1852 and added two large Victorian-style extensions, built roads, and planted thousands of trees. Upon his death, Lord Ardalan expanded the building even further. The castle has hosted a number of people, like King George V, Queen Mary, John Lennon, and Ronald Reagan. Today, Ashford Castle is a luxury five-star hotel with 83 rooms and suites. It was even voted the world's best hotel by Virtuoso Travel Week in 2015. Number 1. Dream Castle This medieval marvel is the Dream Castle, and it's the largest Anglo-Norman castle in all of Ireland. Located in the charming town of Trim in County Meath, this castle was built in the 12th century and was imagined as impregnable. In fact, to this day, it looks as impressive and safe as it would have in its day. The castle is built on three acres of land, and its structure has a central three-story keep with 20 corners, a curtain wall, a ditch, and a water-filled moat. Trim Castle is also seen in the movie Braveheart representing the walled city of York. Today, you can purchase a guided tour of this mighty castle and learn and appreciate its beauty and history. There you go! These were the top Irish castles, and we hope you found the urge to visit one someday. If you found our video interesting, please show us love by clicking on the like button and subscribing to our channel for more amazing content. Share the video with your friends. And in the end, thanks for watching and see you next time.